Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today is day two, season one four, so that's the video. Starting off down here, we have the Defender, Colonel Trailer and the Honda Quad parked up. And then the sheep are all happy in the shed there after being scanned. Um so they all all the ewes, um apart from the ram there, they all have lambs. So hopefully in a month's time we'll see those lambs. Um so last year it took us about uh I think it was two weeks to get through all of them because we got um, the Scottish back face one next to the ram, the one with the white wool there, and the Herdwick in the back, grey and white one. Um, so that extended it to two weeks, and um, we had one or two every day, um, which is, it just feels like a bit more effort when it's longer um, because obviously there's not many sheep. Um, and we don't plan to get any more sheep, maybe like a couple more in the future, but for now we're just stuck with these. So hopefully it will be two weeks again so it'll feel a little bit longer. Because um, if it if it was like five a day we'd be done within not even a week. So yeah, and then we have the uh, JCB mini digger parked up and uh, not having much jobs recently. And then we got the sort of... Three chickens there, um, from the other farm. Then we have the gator, uh, link box with all the stuff. Uh, the shovel, rake, jerry can, oil drum. Um, there, yeah, they'll have to be put somewhere. Then we have the tail and the bucket, muck grab, oil tank, which we need to get a refill on that soon. Then we have the T6175 New Holland parked up, and the Marston uh, side trailer. And next to that we have the buck rake and the yard scraper. Then in the shed we have the new hollow mini baler, class ram baler, John Day Bear Rapper, Fellow Rake, Coon Mower, Lawn Mower, and the Ford 6600. Then we have the rest of the chickens, uh, chicks, ducks and ducklings knocking around. And so hopefully these will start uh, laying eggs now. Or they might have already started. So there should be some new chicks. Um, hopefully. Um, and same from these two hens here. Hopefully we'll get a couple eggs and some we can sell potentially if they're not fertilised. And we have the Mash Ferguson 5612 uh, Coon Fertiliser Spreader, Fertiliser Bags, uh, Spearhead Hedge Cutter, John Deere Trail Forager, uh, Mash Ferguson 6616 and the John Deere 6920S. So we put the 6920S and the trail forager here in this shed, or, or bay, um, because we had space and we thought we could maybe put two or three things in here to get a bit more space in the yard, um, but we only were able to fit the two. Um, so they've just been parked in there. Then we have the wheelbarrow next to the cows and the crate and bucket. Then we have the Herbst uh, dump trailer, just been parked there for now. Then the uh, Matt's Land Rover, he's come to help us out today. And then we have our friend Mark in his little New Holland. Uh, he's got our sheep trail on the back. He has currently started lambing uh, yesterday or last night. So he's got about, I think it's 10 sheep, but one of them's a ram, so he only has nine ewes. Um, but he's asked if we could borrow his, uh, if we could borrow our sheep trailer, so because he doesn't really have one. Um, he needs to get a new one, it's sort of rotten, um, so he's just borrowing that one, because uh, his is uh, being repaired, because we had like a rotten wooden floor, uh, it was quite old, so he's just borrowing that there, and he'll bring it back. Then we have the bale trailer, with the bales, uh, once the silage, uh, the silage pit's gone, we can feed them there, the cows, with the, um, with the bales, um, but I have a feeling we're going to have probably get rid of those four because we'll give two to the cows uh, and two to the sheep uh, during two feedings so the cows will get one and the sheep will get one um, but I reckon we'll have uh, those four will be gone by the time the cows are in the field and the sheep are in the field because we've still got quite a lot of size left um, but yeah so we'll give one bale to the cows and one bale to the sheep but we might have to give two to the sheep because obviously there's a lot of them and they need to feed the lambs and the cows don't really need much uh, and the cows are all enjoying themselves in the shed there and they got their size there and then we got the bull there and then we've got 
the uh, Fleming roller just been moved out of the way and they're much better there and then the surge in the surge pit also we could take it to the other farm um, if we want to start on the bales not the whole uh, silage in the pit but most of it because um, we can just feed the bales to them in the uh, in the field um, until they're gone until we make some new ones then in the field we have the main man himself the farmer in the disco he's got the rifle with him slap the trailer on the back uh, and then we're just loading up the straw bales taking them to the other farm and then we have Matt uh, in the John Deere 3400 Tanler and he's just loading up a bale there so we'll probably get one more on because we don't want to put too much strain on the disco but I mean she'll pull them um, and then we have the uh, farmer's son in the New Holland 7740 with the strobes uh, and the wing mirror guards uh, they was that was his, uh, his idea um, and he's got the Fleming Dub Bay Lifter on the back and he's just uh, he's just picking up two uh, straw bales there um, and then the telly handler and one mat will take a straw bale and he'll put one more straw bale, straw bale there on the top uh, and strap them down uh, and as you can see farmer's son has got the uh, back window open easier to see um, but no, I think this is a really nice tractor um, it's definitely one of the favourites it's in the top two favourites for sure um, but yeah so she's quite old but I mean she's still she's still running um, not been restored or, or anything she's brand new um, I think she had a bit of paint, but that's not really much. Um, not much paint. Uh, she did go to a farmer before, and then we just picked her up from the dealership. Uh, they sort of repainted her a bit. But yeah, this literally brand new, basically. Just with a bit of paint came off it. Um, so yeah, so this is definitely one of my favourite tractors uh, on the farm. And one of two. Um, it's either that one or the T6. Um... So yeah, so I thought I'd do a second video because I really did miss doing the Mod Farm videos. Um, so hopefully this will be out for around 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon. Um, well the video shouldn't be too long so it might be earlier than that hopefully. Um, the Survivor role play should be out tonight as well hopefully. Um, so yeah, so to this video guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and bye.